Let us now understand the input devices. The hardware which are used to enter data and instructions by the user to the computer are called as input devices. Example, a keyboard, a mouse, digital camera, microphone, scanner, webcam or PC cam. So basically we use these devices to provide an input to the computer. The instruction is provided by the user for compu to computer for further processing. Let us understand the keyboard. It is the most used and primary input device. It operates a lot like a typewriter, but it has many additional keys that do special things a typewriter can't. A standard keyboard has 104 keys. The highlighted ones are the typing keys, which are alphanumeric keys. It is sometimes also called as a QWERTY layout. If you see the first line of the alphabet, it starts with Q, W, E, R, T, Y. The next are the modifier keys, which are Control, Alt, Shift. Shift is used basically if you want to type the alphabets in a capital letter or if you want to type anything, uh, any symbols, example, if you want to type at the rate symbol, which is on top of button 2, then you press shift key and the number 2. So, at the rate mark comes on your screen. Then there is a space bar. So, if you press this particular bar, the cursor, the highlighted one, the blinking mark on the screen is called as a cursor. So when we press space bar, this cursor moves one step to the right like this. Next we have the tab key, caps key, scroll and num lock. Tab key helps to move the cursor few steps ahead unlike space key wherein it just moves one step. The caps lock key permanently types the alphabets into the capital characters. The scroll lock, if you are using a word document, then a scroll lock function helps us to navigate further down the document. Then we have num lock key which locks the number keypad which is on the right side of the keyboard. This is the numeric keyboard. When we press the num lock key on, then we can type these numbers on the screen. When it is off, then we can use the arrow keys which are marked on the numbers, that is on the number 2, 4, 6 and 8 for navigation of cursor. Next, we, next key is the return key, that is enter. We have two enter keys on the keyboard. So it is basically helpful when we want to go on the next line. If we are typing on a word document and if we want to, if our paragraph is done and we want to go to the next paragraph or a next line, then we press enter. It also confirms our action on when we use the enter key. Then we have the backspace key. When we press this key, the computer moves one step to the left. So if we have typed a wrong letter, we can correct it by using the backspace key. Next we have windows and the right click. We'll understand this further when we are doing introduction to Windows. Then we have the text editing keys, which is insert, delete, home, end, page up and page down. This is also majorly used in the office programs, that is Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. 
Next we have the direction keys. These are arrow keys. So if we want to move up, down, we, if the blinking cursor has to move up, we press the up key like this, then the down key, then towards left and right. Next we have the function keys. Most computer keyboards have between 10 to 12 function keys and these are special instructions which are filled in already in the computer. Example, if we press the F1 key, the computer assumes that we need help, so it provides us a help window. If we press F2, then we can rename a particular file. If we provide F3, the windows gi give us a search window for searching any particular file or folder on our computer. Next, there is an escape key. So to come out of any program, we press this escape key. Also, if we would like to ignore any particular pop-up, we can use this key. Next, let us understand a mouse. No, it is not a rodent mouse. It is another input device. It is called a mouse because of its shape and the way the cable is attached to it to the computer. Nowadays, we have wireless mouse also. It is invented by Douglas Engelbert using a piece of wood. There are two kind of mice. Now we see a small arrow which is moving on a screen. This movement is possible with the help of a mouse. We usually use a laser mouse which doesn't have a roller ball and it uses a laser light that makes the pointer move like this on the screen. Now how do we hold a mouse? We have to hold it in a grip between our thumb and ring finger. We have to place our index finger on the left button and the middle finger on the right button. This is how the mouse pointer looks. The left key is the primary key and when we click that button, it is called as left clicking. Similarly, we have the secondary key that is the right click and if we press that button, it is called as right clicking. There is something called as a single key. So if we press the button only once, it is called as a single click. And it is usually done to open a particular file. Double clicking is used. Use the left side key and press it twice very quickly to instantly open any file or folder. Then another function is click and drag. So we can hold this picture on the screen. We click the left button and move the picture. Then we have a scroll wheel. The red button which is on this mouse is called a scroll, scroll wheel. So we can move around the document up down with the help of this key. The next input device is a scanner. It is very useful input device. We can place any page of our writing, pictures, any document in the scanner. The computer scan, the, this particular device scans that particular document and places that document on the computer for further use. We have some other input devices also. Example, a touch screen. Optical character reader, which reads a scanned image and converts it into a text. Then we have magnetic ink character reader. So it is the micro code which is written on our bank checks that is read by this device. 
then we have barcode reader with the light and dark lines which we see here then we have optical mark reader omr answer sheets which are nowadays used in our exam papers then we have voice input that is a mic which is used to input our voice into the computer that's it for this video keep learning to keep winning thank you